Hi everybody, welcome back to Fun with Olivia. Uh, if you are new here, this channel used to be called Makeup Fun with Olivia. Makeup is not off the table, but lately I have been so into crocheting and knitting that that's what I've been talking about. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So glad to have you here. Today we are going to talk about my whips my very 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 old whips let me backtrack and explain a little bit years ago we moved to florida and then we lived there <clears throat> excuse me we lived there about seven years and then decided to come back home to california well it's been <laughs> i think it's been eight nine years now that we've been back but three years ago <clears throat> god what is going on with me three years ago we bought a town home and we live in this little town home that I completely love in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, we're south of San Francisco, well southeast, and I recently, recently, because I, I had my yarn in the garage, you guys. I have so much yarn that I brought over from Florida because I was a stay-at-home mom for a couple of years over there, and so I got very into knitting and crocheting when I had my little ones very little. And um, long story short, I recently put my yarn in these cabinets. I'll try to share some pictures if I can uh, somewhere, here, here, or somewhere. Why is it, okay. I now understand why people always say, why is it that when I started filming, the motorcycle guy turns on him? Like, it's it's like clockwork. It's been, it's been quiet all morning, <laughs> but you just got to go with it. I live in a populated area and you just got to go with it, right? Um, so I hope it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me, but you know, when I, when I edit, edit the videos and I do hear it really loud so I can see how it can, you know, bother or at least anyway. Let's move on. Where was I? So I'm very excited that I brought all of my yarn up into our living room area. I have this bookcase that I filled up with yarn. The bottom part I filled up. So I had these boxes. I am just all over the place today. I had these boxes in the garage, these plastic bins again. I, I'll try to put a picture somewhere so you can see how many I emptied out. That's not even all of them, but I emptied out quite a few. My husband is so happy because he has that <laughs> extra space in the garage now. But um, I'm excited because I have all of my yarn accessible to me now. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, angels cried. But I found a lot of whips in those old boxes uh, that came all the way from Florida or that I worked on when I first got here to California because I was all stressed out and so I was like trying to like knit and you know anyways I have a lot of whips so I recently decided because I've been looking at projects that I want to work on and then I see some of these older whips and I'm like I want to use that yarn well I thought we would have fun today going through all of those whips. Some of these I don't even remember what they are. And we're going to decide, is it going to be frogged or is it going to be finished? Am I going to finish it? Am I going to frog it? Most of these will probably be frogged. <laughs> Just a heads up. But you never know. Let's jump in. I have them stacked up. You can see kind of the mess here. Um, I have them stacked up. So let's jump into the very first one. I don't even, I didn't even look them up on my Ravelry. Um, so I will try to list patterns and yarns in the description box, but please forgive me if I don't. <laughs> okay, I remember this yarn. Let me show you the yarn, you guys. Knit Picks Swish Bulky in the color Dub. I remember loving this yarn. Oh my gosh. Look at this yarn. Let me give you deets on it. I don't know if this is available anymore. It's a five bulky weight, 100% superwash merino wool, 137 yards. Machine wash, tumble dry low. It is so soft. So clearly I didn't use this one. And it looks like I was working. Oh, this is a whole other one. Ooh, new project. <laughs> And this is what I was working on. You know what? I had more of these because I made something else. If I can find it, I will try to put a picture somewhere here. 
but I'm pretty sure I made something else and these were my leftover ones. And so with this little bit of leftover, it looks like I started knitting something. It looks pretty. I like it, but it looks like I kind of did decide I was going to frog it because I took the needles out. <laughs> I probably needed them for another, um, another whip. But this is my project. So yeah, this is probably gonna get frogged and I'm definitely gonna use that yarn for something else. I don't know what I'm gonna make. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, so let's put these back and let's look at the next one. This is what this baggie looks like. Let's see what yarn it is first. I think that's the fun part. What yarn? Because I'm already thinking if I frog it, I can use it for something else. Okay, so it looks like there is a ball that is in use and another complete ball that has not been used. And what I like to do is keep these in here uh, because if this happens, then I know what yarn it was. So this is Cascade Yarns Venezia Worsted. It looks like I got it at a local at um, local yarn shop, LYS, in Florida. This was a knit and nibble. Knit and nibble, nibble with a K, get it? I love that LYS, I remember. So this is merino silk, 70% merino wool, 30% silk, 219 yards. It's coming off a little bit burgundy, I hope, it doesn't look like that, but if it does, it's not really burgundy. It's like a deep espresso brown. I think the light is making it, my ring light is making it look different, but it is this dark espresso brown. It's really pretty. And this is what I was making. Again, I must have taken out the needles. I don't know what I was making. I don't remember, you guys. It must have been a, a shawl of some short, sort. It's soft, the yarn is soft. Yeah, whatever I was making, it looks pretty. It's all curled up. I like how the stitches look there. Can you see that? That ring light is kind of blowing out everything, isn't it? Yeah, this looks really pretty. So let's put this back in. That means I have two balls of this to use. I don't, did I say what weight it was? Yeah, I did, it's worsted. It doesn't feel like a worsted. It feels like a DK, that doesn't feel like a worsted. So I might be able to use it for a DK project. All right, next project. I remember this yarn too. So, I want to say that this was a Madeline Tosh yarn and it looks like, I don't think I have, yeah, I don't think I have the, the little tag, but I'm pretty sure this was a Madeline Tosh. <laughs> and this is what I had in the works. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. And this is what I was making, Juneberry Triangle Pattern. Oh, that's beautiful. It's by Jared Flood. I may need to undo this and try again, because this is, this is beautiful. Look at those stitches. Oh, I love texture. I love texture. And this is like a drapey texture because of the yarn. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. I want to wear this now. <laughs> yeah, I like this. But honestly, I'm not a strong, strong knitter. So I don't even think I'll remember where I was here. So I would have to undo this and start all over again. I'm going to have to think about this one. Or maybe just undo this, use it for something else, and then just make this at a later time because this is beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that shawl. Okay. Let's put that one back in. I wish I knew that. Here, let me see if I can pull it up really quick on Ravelry. Nope, I must have never even put this on my Ravelry 
Um, so yeah, beautiful yarn though. I love it. It, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it has little areas of dark burgundy and then like this berry color. It's very, very subtle. And I really like that about the yarn. Let me see, maybe you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. See, maybe here, like you can see darker berry and then lighter berry. Yeah, it's very subtle and it I feel like it just gives the project dimension. It looks so pretty. Okay, next. Next, next. This is, and you can tell, these are nicer yarns because these were from Florida. <laughs> when I was like, I was on a, I mean, I, I, I do like nice yarn, but I, I use lots of acrylic too. This is gonna look like I never use acrylic, but I use a ton of acrylic, you guys. Um, okay, so it looks like I was making the Tamarind Cowl, a Knitting Ninja design. Take it out of this so it's not shiny. So that's what I was making. And this looks like some Mel, it's a Malabrigo yarn. It has like chocolatey browns and a little bit of plum and some like sage green almost. It's really pretty. Oh, this is so, so. <laughs> now I think I was hopeful that I was gonna finish this cause this is still in my needles, my Knit Picks needles. This is a, so this is what the cowl was looking like. I'm probably gonna frog it because I probably didn't use, uh, didn't gauge. I've never gauged in my life, you guys. I'm gonna have to though, because I'll tell you about it in the next video. I'm gonna have to for my next project. But look at how pretty that is. I love the color and just, oh, it's so soft. This is like perfect. I need to try this again because this this is the perfect yarn for this project, but I have a big thick neck, so yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but it's pretty. Yeah, I might try this again. Uh, my my um my list of to dos is growing. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Okay, this baggie, a wool eyed baggie. What do I have in here? Oh, okay. So here I was making the Sunshine Day Afghan. And I was using these colors. I have a ton of them. Oh, I totally remember this. Oh, this is a little bit curled up. Yeah, I remember, I think these were Venice Choice. I think I started using the Venice Choice yarn. I think I used, I remember, I definitely remember using this on um, some of my scrap gans. Oh. So I'm probably not gonna be able to make that blanket. The needles are still here. <laughs> Wait, this is crochet, why are needles in here? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let me put those over there. Yeah, I have about one, two, three, 11, 12, 13. So maybe I could make a scarf with this. I mean, it's Venice Choice, it's not really hard. They are pretty, it's a little bit thicker. I don't know, I'll have to think of something. I have a lot of granny squares that um, I was thinking of putting together, some knit, some crochet in random colors. And I was thinking of doing like a big ugly afghan where it just puts everything together that I've made like this. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, these are already made. This isn't even a whip. This is just, I guess I just put them to the side. And this is, I guess, I don't, it's not those needles, I don't think. Oh, it is. It's the Addy Turbos. Okay. Well, I must have had another project in there. So this is not a pro. well, it could be a project in the sense that it could be, um, you know, I need to finish it up or I need to do something with them or I might just thrift them. I might just thrift them. See if somebody else wants to make something with it. I don't know. Okay, 
The next one, oh, I almost lost this. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Okay. This is Kepi Sparkle Hat. One ball makes a hat. Are these, I don't think these are around. This is a worsted weight. And I think I even finished it. I sure did. I sure did. Which one is the right side? I think this is the right side. I finished it. I just never attached the ball. I remember the skein was kind of like this and then the balls were on top um, and they looked so cute. I couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it. So I just need to finish this off. But I think that's super cute and it has, um, yeah, the one ball had white and had this, that, yeah, that might show. That way it doesn't blow it out. Yeah, I couldn't resist. I'm a sucker for a multicolor and I'm a sucker for sparkle. So <laughs> I need to finish this. I can see my daughter using this and she likes multicolored like I do. So that's something to finish off pretty quickly, actually. Yay. Okay. This. Oh gosh. What is this? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. This was a market bag that turns into its own little bag and I think you can like shove it all in here. I don't even remember how. Kind of like this. I'm kind of doing it. I think I did it inside out, but I think because the yarn was so drapey, it just it 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 didn't work and I never put the handles on it. Yeah, I'm probably going to frog this. I don't even remember what yarn this was. Let's see if the tags are still in here. They sure are. So this is Crystal Palace Yarns Waikiki. 62% viscose and 38% cotton. Yeah, I'm probably going to frog this. What weight is this? Oh, this is dry cleaner hand wash. I am so glad I kept these because I probably would have thrown it in the washer. Yeah, I, it doesn't say what weight yarn it is. It says use in combination or five to six stitches per inch US 5.7. So that gives us an indication of the weight. But yeah, I'm probably going to frog this because there's no way I'm ever going to use this and I don't even know how to finish it up. There's no pattern in here. Um, and I'm not going to use a market bag, honestly. Not, not like, not like this. Things can fall through it. <laughs> so that'll be some extra yarn. Okay. The next. Ooh, I totally remember this. Back in the day, Stephen West was all the rage. He probably still is, and I just don't know about it. But years ago, he was new on the Ravelry scene. Um, West Knits. He's, he, I just love his personality and his colorful um, projects. And so he had this shawl, I think it was a cow, and it was a surprise. So we didn't really know what we were making, but it's still here. <laughs> what is this one called? It's called, yeah, it was a Mystery Shawl Cow 2013. Oh my, oh my, oh my. That's how old these are. Mystery cow, look at that picture. <laughs> 2013. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably not gonna finish this. I have my nitpicks in here. I'm trying to, let me see, let me take, I know this is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt to take these out. Let's, let's take them out right now and see what it was beginning to look like. Ta-da! Oh my God, there's still another <laughs> portion in here. But this is what it was looking like. Now these I do remember. One color, cut, go the next color. And I think I was actually cutting I don't think I was bringing up because otherwise I would still have it connected. So, but it might be worth it to just undo. 
And then the yarn, now I don't have green in here or the pink one, so I don't know if I ran out or if I just like used it for something else or maybe it's in there. And it doesn't have, it doesn't have the, the tag to tell you what yarn this is. But let me tell you, it's, it's soft. This may have been a Madeline Tosh too, by the feels of it. It's so super soft and it feels like a, like a DK weight. Oh, that is, oh, oh, <laughs> I love it when yarns are soft. <laughs> All right, yeah. So these are gonna be projects in and of themselves to um, frog, right? It's gonna take time. But I'm excited to have all that extra yarn. Okay, I have, oh my gosh, this is going to be a long video. Let me see if I can speed it up. Okay, this I even have in a pattern holder. And the pattern, oh my gosh, look at this. Slip Stitch Studio is a magnetic book marker. <laughs> I never even use these. And then the pattern is here. How cute, I can totally use this right now. Oh my God. <laughs> what pattern is this? Let's see. Okay, I don't think I printed the picture, but it is called Skywalker Shawl. This was on an online Craftsy um, class. I was doing this with, an, with a Craftsy class. I don't even know if Craftsy still exists. I'm gonna leave it out actually so I can use this, right? Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm a hippie at heart, so <laughs> the peace signs. Yeah, so let's look at what's in here. Some cases for Addy Click. I think I'm using Addy Click needles. More gray. Can you tell I like gray? Let's see how much I had. I remember I was really enjoying this. And the Skywalker shawl is beautiful. So it's something I definitely want to tackle one day again. Look at how pretty this was looking. And she was just like showing us how to do different things in each section on the Craftsy course if it still exists. I think it was like if you got the course, it was lifetime, you kept it forever. So it might still be out there and I can still go back and do it. I don't know that I will, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to frog this. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I have like lifelines going through it probably because, you know, I was too scared. And then this is the yarn. I don't know what yarn this was. It doesn't have the, the tag, but again, it's soft. It's soft and it has the needles on it. So I'll take the needles out later because that other one took me a bit but yeah makes me so sad okay let me put that in there oh here's a small one. Ooh, i think i know what this one is this is how small it looks if i'm not mistaken mistaken it was some um, fingerless mitts by louisa harding yeah these were some fingerless mitts i guess they were on this hand yeah and that was supposed to be the thumb kind of yeah this is a really bad <laughs> the the yarn is like parts of it are black and parts of it are espresso brown and the stitching of the fingerless mitts was just beautiful I don't have a pattern in here so I don't know where that is but um and the yarn is super soft. I want fingering or something, something like that, because it's really, really soft and the, they're really soft. I'm probably gonna undo this. Not probably, I am gonna undo it because I don't even know where the pattern is for this. But I was very into Louisa Harding at one point. I have a few of her books and I still wanna go back and make more now that I have more time. It's just things got crazy. Okay, this, I started making after going to a fiber event here in, I believe it's in San Jose, what's it called? They were doing it every year 
and when I moved back to California, I went and I got a pattern. The pattern's not here, but I do have it saved somewhere, and it looks really funny. Oh, I wish I had written down. It looks funny. I told, I joked around with my hubby, and I said, look, I'm making, I'm knitting some thongs, <laughs> and he looked at me like, because <laughs> he always tries to be supportive, but he was like, are you, are you serious? Like you're really, and I said, and look, they're going to fit just right because I've gained weight now due to COVID. <laughs> they're not thongs, you guys. Um, this was kind of something like this, but it was like really stylish. I'll try to find it and put a picture of it somewhere so you can see it. I think this was a Madeline Tosh too, because um, it's so soft and it has some berry in there and some purple and um yeah this feels super soft too oh my god <laughs> yeah so that's that and i don't remember what it's called but i'll try to find it if i can find it i'll i'll put it somewhere or in the description box okay so that is empty i have four more to go you guys bear with me here's another bag these cute bags this is from Aaron dot lane what was I making here okay so it looks like a cascade superwash 220 let's see I have a <laughs> wrinkled pattern August 2013 knit along square I do remember I was doing a knit along um, because I was trying to like learn more about knitting and do different um, stitches and so I was doing these squares and I guess I started this one. Oh, that does look pretty. I started this square and I never finished it. That's so pretty. It's stretchy. Yeah, th these were my knitting days. Um, I've been a crocheter forever. I'm putting this back because I'm going to frog it. Um, I've been a crocheter since I was like eight years old. That is crocheting just comes naturally to me. I can just like do it and it's just relaxing. It's not stressful. But uh, when I was in Florida and I had more time and I was a stay at home mom and I could focus a little bit more, I started knitting and I love the texture of knitting items. And actually because of my knitting experience that got me to start crocheting a little bit looser because I like the drape so much. So it's affected my crochet, I think in, in a good way too. But um, yeah, okay, this was a garland, a Christmas garland that I was making with a bunch of these little trees. Have you guys ever seen them on Ravelry? I'll try to list it below. Here's one of them. But I had all this sock yarn in here because I wanted to make all these colorful ones and I did make a few. Yeah, I remember. See, here's another one. How cute is that? I feel like I almost need to make a blanket and then just like embroider these on there. And they're all different colors. Yeah, from the sock yarn. And I think I started making this one, but I never finished it. Very, very colorful. So I have, you know, Croy socks, bamboo and U pattern, sock ease, red heart, heart and soul with aloe. Yeah, a lot of these, I don't think they exist, or if they do, I just haven't seen them. So, I might, every year I'm like, oh, I want to finish these for Christmas, but then I don't because I get sidetracked. So, I might need to make something else with these and just leave the sock yarn to, to do something else with it. I don't know. We'll see. Two more. Oh, this is old. This is old. I know exactly what this is. Oh, this I want to finish. I will finish it. It's my gingerbread house. This is the ceiling. I remember when this pattern came out on my Crochet Today magazine subscription. Everybody was making this. <laughs> so I made a whole bunch of parts for this oh do I have oh my god the magazine is shoved in here 
Let me see if I can find. Look at this. This this isn't even my address anymore. This was from Florida, but yeah. I, oh, I remember. I love this magazine. I'm so sad it's no longer available. I'm trying to find. Oh, here it is. This is what it's supposed to look like. Isn't that cute? I will finish this. This came out in 2009. Yeah, that's how long it's been. Um, and I have like, you know, the side. Oh, here we go. The walls. I have the two walls. I have, oh, this, uh, the walls on this side, like the lengthwise. And then I started making, I made the door and I made the little candies <laughs> that you sew. And I don't know, I think these chains are like to twirl them around. I don't know. I was just following the instructions. So I have a lot, a lot of little things that go here. And even if I don't finish it completely, I want to be able to set it up for Christmas. Maybe this this year is my year. So year. I think this goes above the door on the door. I can't remember anymore. But yeah, lots of little things. Um, and I just, I love, I love the ceiling. I love the gingerbread ceiling. I can't wait. I can't wait. And every year, every year, this is in the back of my mind. I should really finish it. I should really finish it, and I never do. Maybe now that I've, like, organized everything, and I feel like everything is clear, and I'm frogging all those, and just clearing everything. Last but not least, I was making a blanket with knit picks. I was really into Knit Picks, wasn't I? So, Knit Picks Swish Worsted, 100% Superwash Merino. Oh, that kind of matches my nails. <laughs> I had purple, I had blue, I had, I don't know if I wanna go through every single, I, I, let me just show you. These are in here. <laughs> Purples, grays, teals. They're still in there. Oh, and here is, it's the hexagon blanket. It was very, very in at a certain point in time. And I was going to make it. I didn't, this isn't the only one I made. I made a few, actually. Yeah, here's another one. Again, I'll try to share like what it's supposed to look like, but I wanted to make it in purples and teals and and I really love this like taupeish color and how it contrasted. Um, so I definitely would love to finish this one day, one day. I think I started to make this one. Look at this. Oh, here's another one. I love this one. Love this one. Oh, one more. One, oh, two more. Two more. Gray. I love how this yarn feels. It's soft. It's soft, but, it's, but sturdy. And that could be because, you know, I was a tight um, crocheter. I don't know if I can crochet that tight anymore. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put them all together. So yeah, if, if I don't make this, or if I don't finish this, I might just make it into like a scarf, a hexagon scarf, and I think they're so pretty. And I have all the yarn to finish it, because clearly I ordered enough. Look at this. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so that is it. Can you believe how many whips I have from like 2009 even? Oh my gosh. I hope you had a little bit of fun with me. I will be frogging a lot of those and I will be 
maybe finishing up a couple <laughs> or transforming into something um, a couple of those too so that was fun it was fun to go back memory lane for me I hope you enjoyed it with me thank you so much for joining me um, my next video is probably going to be about my last knit crate box um, I'll tell you the story with that in my next video but I might subscribe to the sock crate I don't know we'll see <laughs> all right thank you for joining me and I will talk to you later bye